Greetings everyone. This is a video to try to unpack some of the new syntax that we encounter in chapter 17 by looking at Hackett's number two sentence from the exercises. So here's our sentence. And we begin with v haya. That is a v katal. The verb haya means to be. And because it is a converted perfect, that is a v katal, even though it's a suffix form, it has a future referent. So it's going to be, and it will come to pass, if you want to translate the and and the future version of to be. Or you could just not translate it at all and recognize this is one of the ways Hebrew says this is going to be a sentence about the future. We'll try both of those. Our next word, k-lok-dam. Listen to that pronunciation. I realize that could be k la k dam, but it's k lok dam. The second syllable has a short o in it. That is three separate components, so let's break them down. First, we have a k, just our preposition for as or when. Then we have the three letter root lakad, which means to capture. And the form we have is actually the infinitive. So in the normal infinitive construct, it would be le code to capture here the vowel pointing is changed because it has a suffix and that's part number three um we recognize um as being them or there so when we put all three things together what do we have we have k as or when then we have the the verbal idea of capturing so capturing and then we have the suffix them or their. So at the time of their capturing, or in more normal English, when they capture. And this is really going to make the most sense when we see that it's going to follow these vahaya or vayahi introductions. And it came to pass when they captured, or and it shall come to pass when they capture. Those are the contexts in which we're going to see this k or b plus a, a, an infinitive plus a suffix. It will get more familiar with time, I promise you. Moving along, things are pretty simple from here on out. Et are chem, direct object marker, followed by the noun arim, cities, and the, the construct form of arim is are, cities of, and then we get the suffix chem. So cities of are chem, y'all, y'all cities. So put together, it will come to pass when they capture your all cities. Now we get of another v katal. So here's our vav. Lachach is a root meaning to take, and lach ku. V la ku is going to be the third person plural of our suffix conjugation. That is, it has a something on the end, not on the beginning. So it's beginning as a past tense. But this is a v katal, which is to say we reverse the past tense. And so a good way to translate this might be literally, and they will capture. But because it, our sentence begins with a, a, a construct about what will happen when something else happens, we might say, it will come to pass when they take your cities, then at that time, they will take or they will also take. So that, that could be the sense of the vav is they will also. What will they take? Et batekem. So we just have the construct here from bait, batim, houses. They will take your houses. And now we get another type of infinitive. So the root in these two verbs is asar, to bind, like to bind in chains. And the easier of these two verbs to parse, the more familiar, is ya asru, because that you can see is the prefix form. There's something on the front. And so 
this is going to be a future. They shall bind. Yod on the front, u on the end. So what's this first verb? Asor. Well, the easiest way maybe to recognize it is that if you have two instances of the same root, asar, asar, side by side, usually the first of those two is going to be the infinitive absolute. And the effect of saying asor, ya asru, will be to emphasize they shall surely bind. You can just say it literally, binding they will bind. And just a reminder, this pointing is the paradigmatic pointing for the infinitive absolute. The infinitive absolute is very consistent. Um, it will be an A under the first root letter and an O after the second root letter. And it's usually written with that Vav Mater Lectionis. Who will they bind? Et banechem, the et benotechem. So they will bind your sons, that is, the bene of chem. So we have bain, banim, son, sons. And banim we, becomes a construct by getting rid of the mem. Banim becomes bene. Sons of chem, sons of you. And then bat, banot. Banot becomes banotechem, the daughters of you all. So if we want to put it all together, Vahaya kalok dam, and it shall come to pass when they capture, that is, they capture, et arechem, your cities, they will also, v lachu, they will also take, et batekem, your houses, v asor ya asru, and they will surely bind your sons and your daughters.